This video is going to talk about practical ways that you can use music with your child who is deaf or hard of hearing. In another video, we talked about music and how important and fun it can be for your child who is deaf or hard of hearing. But one of the hardest parts about being a parent or teacher of a child who is deaf is being able to take that information and apply it to your everyday life. So, this video, I'm going to give you a couple songs that you can sing with your child on an everyday basis that focus on some really important sounds. You can find songs that emphasize any sound that you want your child to be working on, but for the purpose of this video, I chose to focus on songs that emphasize some of the Ling Six sounds. The Ling Six sounds are A, ah, U, E, M, S, and SH. If you don't know what the Ling Six sounds are, they're especially important for your child to be working on because they represent most of the different frequencies of, of hearing. And teachers and therapists will use these sounds to help gauge how well your child is hearing, how well their equipment is working, and whether or not they're hearing all the different frequencies of normal speech. So, these are all songs that would be easy to incorporate into your everyday schedule with your child and are great for toddlers and young kids. The first song is called Wash Your Hands, sung to the tune of Row, Row, Row Your Boat. It focuses on the shh sound, and it's great to help teach your kids how to wash their hands as well as working on the sounds. And it goes like this. Wash, wash, wash your hands, wash them every day. Wash with soap, scrub and rinse, wash those germs away. And you can sing it slowly and you can sing it multiple times as you're washing your kids' hands. And you can emphasize the shh sound and wash. The next song is called Are You Hungry? sung to the tune of Are You Sleeping? It focuses on the sound mmm. It's great to transition them to different meals, to start off snack time, to start off lunch time, whatever works. And it goes like this. Are you hungry? Are you hungry? Yes, I am. Yes, I am. Yummy in my tummy. Yummy in my tummy. Mm-mm-mm. Mm, mm, mm. And you can have your child repeat those words, yummy, tummy, mm, mm, mm. The next song is called Manners, sung to the tune of I'm a Little Teapot. It focuses mostly on the sound ooh, but also a little bit of e, and it teaches manners and sharing. So it's also great for any time during the day. And it goes like this. I have super I have super manners, yes I do. I say please and thank you too. When I play with friends, I love to share. That's the way I show I care. And at the end, you can have your child say the word please or thank you and work on e and oo with them as well as the manners words, which are really important for all young kids. The next song I have is called The Clean Up Song. It focuses on the sound E in the word clean, and it's sung to the tune of Twinkle Twinkle Little Star. It's great for cleanup time, for transitioning, for anything like that. And it goes like this. <laughs> it is time to clean up now. Clean up, clean up, we know how. We can clean up, you will see. Clean up, clean up, clean up now. Oops, it is time to clean up now. Clean up, clean up, we know how. We can clean up, you will see just how clean our room can be. Clean up, clean up, clean up now. Clean up, clean up, we know how. It helps your kids to clean up their own messes that they make so that you don't have to do it and works on the E sound, so it's great. And the last song that I have is called Ten Little Bubbles. It works on the sound ah in pop. And it's fun for bath time, but it's fun for playing outside with bubbles, for washing the dishes with your child, for counting, because it counts. And it goes like this. One little, two little, three little bubbles, four little, five little, six little bubbles, seven little, eight little, nine little bubbles, ten little bubbles go pop, pop, pop. And you can have your child repeat the word pop, pop and say the word ah and you can use that at any different time for outside play inside play anytime you want so the important thing is to use songs with your child who is deaf or hard of hearing they're fun they make practicing the sounds easier and feel less like work for them and it's great listening exercise for them so and you can use them to help teach them practical life skills as well so i hope this helps and i hope you start singing in your home